Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Mitch here. Today I'm going to go through the process of installing FlashPrint. And this is our 3D printing slicing software for our FlashForge 3D printers. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up a web browser and simply type in FlashPrint. Now the company that produces FlashForge finders and FlashForge guiders like we have in our classroom is, well, the FlashForge company. So we're going to click on their download center. It's the first thing that pops up when you type in flash print. And we're going to find the latest version of the flash forge flash print software. So when the download center opens up on the left hand side, you're going to see a navigation bar and you're going to click on flash print download. So here we have the different available versions of flash print. Now, you will notice that there are versions for Linux, Windows, 64-bit, 32-bit, and Mac. So what we want to do is find the latest version. So in this case, it's 4.3.1. If you're watching this video at a later date, it may have been updated. You're just going to find the latest version for your operating system and click on download. We're going to save this and wait a few seconds for it to download. It is not a very large file, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, let's open that up. Now there is one little trick to this. When you double click on the flash print software, you often get this error that it cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. Don't worry, there's a very simple way around this. Instead of just double clicking, you're gonna hold down control and click on it again. If you have a mouse, you can also right click. This menu will open up and click on open. Now you see the exact same error again, however it does give you the option this time to open it. Move this out of the way and close our browser. We're going to go through the download, the, excuse me, the installation process. So agree to the software agreement. Select our hard drive as our destination. It's only 48 megabytes, so it shouldn't take a lot of space on your hard drive. You will need to enter your computer password. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We can move this to the trash so you don't need to keep this installation file. Okay, so now we have our flash print installed. You can click on your spotlight and type in flash print or you can go to your navigation down here, your launch pad, and find flash print in here somewhere. So it should be under, for me, 3D printing. You might have it in a different location. So I'm gonna open up flash print. And here we have the main interface. Uh, if it's the first time you've ever opened it, you may get an ad about different flash forge finders and printers that are available. You can just close that out. 